Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Oh yeah, so today we're looking at the Gravity Hammer Mod thingy, majingy thing. Yeah. So to get started in this, you're going to need a sh diamond shard. Now to get that, all you do is put that in your 4x4 four four craft table. In survival, I'm not in survival at the minute, I'm creative, but... Oh well. So moving on, here we have the energy shell. Energy cell, should I say. Now you craft that with the shards, so... Like that, in like a diamond shape with the redstone in the middle, give you that. Now with the energy cell, <laughs> saying it correctly this time, you can create the gravity hammer. Now you use it with um, iron and diamond in the middle and then the energy cell at the side. So what this does is pretty much just flings mobs up very, very high into the sky. It's pretty funny. So. Here is how you can repair it, so you can use, so let's say that's damaged, it only has 10 uses in survival so it didn't really a brilliant weapon but it's, it's pretty cool. So you can repair it like that, like in your 4x4 craft table, you can add two together like that and they will repair it for you. Or you can use the energy shell which is um cell, energy cell, it's <laughs> you can use that in your 4x4 craft table and it will do the same thing. Okay, so now moving on to testing. So here I have a zombie spawn zombie egg thingy thing, Enderman. So I spawn this guy in, and as you can see, I've enchanted this. So you can enchant it with the book. So if I go over here and you can see the book, you can use them on an anvil and it'll be able to enchant. You can't enchant it with an actual enchanted devil, I'm not sure why, but that's how it goes. But yeah, moving into testing. Like I said, it only has 10 uses in survival, so it isn't the best of weapons, but it's still good to go along. So if I attack this guy, you should see that he gets flinged up into the air, and then high enough to take fall damage as well, which it, it is kind of a good weapon. Uh, so it does 6 arch damage just with a hit, so as you hit him, so if I go over here, hit him. So that's 6 arch damage just to hit, and then again when he falls, it's about 3 to 2, I don't know what fall damage is. But yeah, that's about it for the mod guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a rating, helps me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you. <laughs>